how y'all doing today? Vass here with another episode of Beats and Sneaks. I know it's been a little minute, but today I got the Kobe, or not, sorry about that, <laughs> the Nike KD 6 right here. As you can see, retail price 130 Same old simple box with the KD logo on it and that Team Orange. And then you got the shoe itself right there. As you can see, it's the Easter joint. It gets straight to the point. Um, changing up the videos, get them out there quicker and have them shorter. Um, the colorway is that uh, it has that mango. Um, it has an atomic green. And that's really the main colors in here so i mean it's not not really too much to say i mean you guys can see it's basically a regular boston celtic green with more of a lime type of green on the tongue and then along the sole it's a little bit more darker than the lime green look on the tongue and then the rest of the shoe has the black spots in it with the bunny rabbits and um then you have that team orange so i mean self-explanatory if you can't see the bunny wraps i'm talking about that's right there see it jumping so let's get straight to the shoe on the front you got seat pleasant's finest as usual got those bunny rabbits all over the place got the nike swoosh right there in orange as you can see if you guys haven't seen on foot on these, you can check out DJ Dale's video. People always ask me to do on foot, but I'm like, just about every shoe I review has an on foot. And that's, I mean, all you gotta do is go look at those videos. I try to get the content out as quick as possible. If I could do it on foot, then I do it. Other than that, I'm not investing any more extra unnecessary time. If it's already out there on YouTube. I just try to give you guys a close up look at the shoe in HD so that you can see all the detailing. I get my opinion and in my opinion if you're someone who likes to collect shoes this is a good shoe but if you want to just rock a shoe all day every day and you just want a green shoe I wouldn't definitely I definitely wouldn't pick up this one for that because all the you know it's like a love hate shoe I'd rather get a shoe that's just dope all around and this shoe isn't it. It's more of a statement type shoe or just, you know, just a bragging rights type type shoe. I have the shoe. I collect shoes now. And I'm finishing up my collection. I have all of the Easter KDs, you know, stuff like that. As you can see, the insole is that green. It's not, it's more of like a Boston green, Boston Celtic green. A little darker tint to it. And you got the team orange KD signature. Um, I mean, like I said, the shoe. As far as how they fit and stuff like that, it's the same as all the other ones. Like there's no no difference in the sizing. So like I said, stay true to size in this shoe. Um, as far as balling in the shoe, I have a lot of the same people ask the same question. I, I don't understand. I'm starting to think that a lot of you guys just like YouTube reviewers to answer your questions because I remember everybody that I have the same people ask the same questions about the same shoe in just a different colorway. How do they run? How do they feel? Like I told you in the last video. <laughs> it's a comfortable shoe. I mean, it's not like this is a brand new shoe and this is the first colorway. We all know the specs about these shoes. So I just let you guys know my opinion, let you guys get the HD look. And that's that's really the purpose of this channel. Um, on a scale of one to 10, I rate the shoe an eight and a half solely because it's one of those shoes that's dope right now but only time will tell like it, it it can either grow on you or grow off you and i'm thinking that this shoe will probably grow off of me like i'm just looking at in the ideas of outfits and stuff i got but this isn't a shoe that you could just throw on and it's automatically dope you have to know how to dress right with this shoe so that's why i say it's an eight and a half for me and personally because there's plenty of other green colorway shoes that are better than this one so is this shoe dope? Yes, but is it a must cop? No. And a lot of people always say, oh, I watch your videos, You it seems like you never like any of the shoes, which is not true. It's just that it's so many shoes coming out that I'm not gonna tell you guys something's worth buying if it's not. Like, 
we probably have a good 10, 15 shoes released a month. There is no way all of them are worth copying. I mean, unless you're rich, like even I'm not buying all the shoes that come out. And I'm a reviewer, you know what I'm saying? I get stuff early. And other people get stuff early, but none of us review everything because everything isn't worth copying. You gotta pick your poison. And to me, this is a statement show. I picked it up because it's something different that I don't have. But if I was somebody who didn't have many shoes, I definitely wouldn't pick this one up. Um, you need to pick something up that you could do more with. You can't do too much with this shoe. So with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed the review. That's my take on it. They release um, on the 18th and they're gonna retail for 160, I believe. Or 130. Let me, I think it's 130 actually. Yeah, 130. I told you guys that already. But they come out on the 18th and they're gonna be for 130. Like I said, pick your poison on these. I have the Kobe review up tonight as well, so make sure y'all check that out. Peace.